Google has released Gemini 2.5 Flash in preview. It is their first fully hybrid reasoning model giving developers the ability to turn thinking on or off. There is also a thinking budget which you can set to find the right trade-off between quality, cost and latency. So I wanted to test out on a few scenarios thinking versus non-thinking. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to give the same prompt with thinking switched on and with thinking switched off to see how the model performs. So it's a comparison of reasoning versus non-reasoning abilities. And I'm going to do it across various domains like clinical domain. I want to do it on coding. I want to do it on physics problems, math problems. And then we, I want to see how much of a difference does reasoning make in the performance of a multi-model model. So let's start off with in this particular blog itself, they said, you know, this kind of a problem, okay, a, a calculation of a cantilever beam of length L is equal to 3M, which has certain rectangular cross section, calculating the maximum bending stress. This prompt requires high reasoning. So what I did was I went to AI studio and I gave this particular problem over here to Gemini 2.5 flash preview with thinking mode. I have not set a thinking budget. It will automatically identify what is a good thinking budget for this problem and it will give the solution. Okay. So it has done and finally it has given a solution like the maximum bending stress is 78.75 MPA. I cannot verify the answer because I'm not an expert in, you know, this kind of a calculation, but this was with the thinking mode. Okay. And this took close to 26.2 seconds. Now without thinking, when I'm running the same this thing, it is giving me an answer 78.75 MPA and this is 78.75 MPA. So with thinking or without thinking for this particular problem, okay, whereby I've disabled the thinking mode, it has given the same answer. This is something which I have observed in many cases over here. Okay. So even though Google has said that, you know, this prop, this is a prompt which requires high reasoning. What I found out in my experiment is that there are many prompts like this, where I see that with or without reasoning, without uh, enabling thinking mode, it still gives you the same answer. Whether the answer is correct, only a domain expert can say. Okay. But there are some differences which I want to point out the benefits of reasoning. Okay. So this is actually a clinical note, a comprehensive adult history and physical, okay, uh, which has been a sample summative history and then prognosis by M2 student. Uh, so here um, there is a complaint from a patient who says I got lightheadedness and felt too weak to walk. And then patient starts describing all kinds of symptoms over here. Okay. And finally, physical exam is done on this thing. Then certain diagnostic tests are done. Okay. And there is a problem list. Now, what is a differential diagnosis for this particular clinical note? So here the ground truth, they are saying most likely this Sjurgen's syndrome. Okay. Uh, alternative is system, uh, systemic lupus erythematous. Uh, do not miss B cell lymphoma, which is key over here. Now I gave this same history to our uh, Gemini 2.5 flash with thinking mode. Okay. And I asked it to come with a uh, differential analysis over here. Okay. For a diagnosis. So it thought for some time, okay. For 36.8 seconds, it mentions, yeah, it could be an overlap between these two conditions, which is According to the ground truth also, it is correct. It mentions this lymphoma. It mentions it could be HIV AIDS because of a certain value being low over here. It could be severe surgeon syndrome, vasculitis, other in summary, it could be any of these conditions. Further, you know, or lymphoma, especially the profound CD4 count and B symptoms, investigation is distinguished between these possibilities. Okay. So it quite well matches the ground truth. Now, without thinking enabled, when I'm running the same thing, okay, it again says this uh, lupus, it says surgeon syndrome. Undifferentiated, it says overlap also, it says rheumatoid arthritis, chronic viral, it says a possibility of lymphoma, okay, uh, the normal morphology, other this thing, it says these things, but in the final thing somewhere, it doesn't mention that lymphoma, that is the difference which I am seeing over here, I find this answer to be a little bit more better over here, so the reasoning mode, I am seeing some benefits in this particular use case, again, a clinician may have a different viewpoint, a domain expert may have a different viewpoint. Okay. The next problem which I wanted to test was this prompt test LLM's physical reasoning capabilities. So you have a book, you have nine eggs, a laptop, a bottle and a nail. Uh, how I wrote this prompt was, you have a book, nine eggs, laptop, bottle and a nail. Please tell me how to stack them on top of each other in a stable manner. Okay. That's the question. 
So this is an understanding of the physical world, right? So when I gave this, it says this is a fun challenge. The main difficulty here is 9x. Okay, loose eggs are around fragile and you know this thing. So it starts saying that okay, laptop base, you can have a bottle which can be laid flat, nail on top of the bottle. The nine eggs remain unstacked for stability, which is physically difficult to do. So this is with thinking mode enabled. Now without thinking mode, it says book, laptop, bottle, eggs layered carefully. It's not stacking, you know, on top of each other. It just says layered uh, carefully in nail. So here I find the thinking or reasoning has done a better job over here in this particular problem. Okay. The next problem which I wanted to show you was, uh, you know, this is a problem, a physics problem basically. Okay. So in the physics problem, you have, um, there is a problem over here, which talks about, you know, time dilation. Okay. Uh, so a spaceship travels towards a massive planet with a velocity of 0.8 C, determine the time dilation experienced by passengers on the spaceship when they are at a distance of 5,000 kilometers from the surface of the planet, assuming that the planet has a mass of something and radius. Okay. So here the answer is 1.66 after derivation. So here what I observed is with thinking, without thinking, both the answers are correct. So with thinking or without thinking, thinking doesn't make a difference over here. It has calculated it properly. It has given all the proper steps and it has it is giving this proper value of 1.66. This means that you know passengers on the spaceship, uh, you know, time passes slowly for the passengers on the spaceship. Here also you are getting the same thing, 1.66, and that means for every second that passes for passengers, approximately 1.66 seconds pass for an observer far away from the planet at rest. So thinking has not made any difference. In fact, thinking has consumed more time over here, 112 seconds. Uh, so over here, it is much 13 seconds. Okay, that is another thing which I observed in cases where you get correct answers fast. Your non-thinking is much more faster and it gives answers really fast compared to the thinking mode. Okay, thinking consumes more time. So this is 26.2 seconds over here for thinking and here if you look at 8 seconds. So that is something which is which needs to be looked into. Okay, now let's go to another uh, mathematics problem over here. Okay, uh, so this is a really complex problem which says that, uh, you know, we first draw an equilateral triangle, then draw the circumference, uh, circumcircle of this triangle, then circumscribe a square to this circle. After drawing another circumcircle, we circumscribe the regular pentagon to this circle. We repeat this construction with new circles and so on until we draw a 16 sided regular polygon. How many disjoint regions are there inside the last polygon? So, this is from mathematical, a complex mathematical problem. The correct answer was 254 based on this data set. I pulled it from this particular data set, this question. Uh, so, this is a math vision questioning uh, this thing. So, I pulled it out from here. Right, this question was available somewhere over here. Uh, let me see where it was present. Yeah, so it was present over here and here. If you look at the answer, it is actually 254. The ground truth is 248. Sorry, 248. Right. So this uh, reasoning did a lot of reasoning. It took you know 144 seconds and it gave a final answer 27, which is wrong. Again, non-reasoning also took 433 seconds over here. Right, much more time over here and it. You know, it was repeatedly repeating the same things again and again over here in the generation and finally it gave a wrong answer. So in both cases, it has failed over here. In fact, over here, non-reasoning took much more, lot of, a long time and it was repeating the same calculations again and again. That is what I observed over here. Okay. I tried one more math problem where, uh, you know, uh, again, it's, you know, this is a, a geometrical this thing where you have semicircles uh, circles like this and A, B, E, F is a rectangle. Okay. Uh, radius of each of the semicircles is 2 cm. What is the area of the shaded region? The correct answer is 8. Again, I pulled it out from this thing. So here the answer it says is 2 pi. Okay. This is with reasoning, right? After 127 seconds, without reasoning, it is giving the correct answer over here. So I expected reasoning to do well over here, but in some cases I'm seeing that, uh, you know, without reasoning, you are getting better answers. Okay. So this was another experiment which I did. Now let's go to finally to a coding experiment, which I did. This is again a physics calculations, which I did, where I found out that both uh, reasoning versus non-reasoning, there was no difference. Both of them gave me the correct answers. Okay. I'll not go into this problem. Now let's go to our coding problem. Okay. So one of my favorites in a coding problem is to create a 3JS road rash like game, which should run on a Chrome browser. Okay. So with thinking, I did this over here. So it gave me the code and I said, it said that copy this code into a single file and then run that file. When I ran that file, I get nothing literally over here. Okay. So this was with thinking, right? So without thinking, I did, uh, you know, I ran this particular prompt without thinking, create a 3JS road rash game. It gave a separate index file, a separate script file. And with that, this is the kind of thing which I got. Okay. Let me refresh it. So this is the th thing which I got, which is much better. Okay. Uh, 
uh, it's not a good road rash game or something but at least something close to a road rash game is what it has given me over here okay so then what i did was uh, you know i asked it to actually uh, kind of i increased the thinking budget to 2 4 5 7 6 tokens over here i set a thinking budget to max thinking budget over here thinking mode on and i again ran this particular code particular prompt to generate a 3d road rash game and i would say that i am actually disappointed over here this was the output which was generated right so yeah i find the non thinking version over here to be much better so so overall it's a kind of uh, mixed results for me in some cases i find thinking mode really helps and gives better results in some cases you are better off without thinking mode now it depends on the prompt even for some complex calculations i find non thinking to be faster and giving the right results whereas thinking makes mistakes but in some kind of cases like this clinical diagnosis i found thinking to give better results in some kind of uh, use cases like physical understanding of the world i found thinking mode to give better results so you have to experiment for yourself to figure out whether you really like, uh, require thinking mode if you require thinking mode what is the budget which is good for the trade offs or you are better off you know without using thinking mode you can save a lot of cost so this was a short video on a set of experiments which i conducted with gemini 2.5 flash so you can also go to ai studio and it is accessible for free you can also perform your experiments to verify you know what works out thinking mode or non thinking mode for you hope this video was useful see you in another